All right, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the 2022 Excel Winter Concert. We're so excited tonight to enjoy the music our students have been making under the direction of Mr. Bill Gauss. Thank you all for being here and supporting the students on this important night of their lives. Um, please remember that all students are expected to stay for the entire performance. At Excel, we support each other through our presence. It's one of the ways that we make our school community so strong. So please see Mrs. Wilkes if you have any concerns or questions about that. Muy buenas noches a todos. Bienvenidos al concierto invernal de Excel 2022. Estamos muy emocionados esta noche de disfrutar de la música que nuestros estudiantes han estado preparando bajo la dirección del señor Bill Gauss. Gracias a todos por estar aquí y apoyar a los estudiantes en esta noche tan importante de sus vidas. Recuerde que se espera que todos los estudiantes se queden durante toda la función. En Excel nos, apo nos apoyamos mutuamente a través de nuestra presencia. Es una de las formas en que fortalecemos a nuestra comunidad escolar. Por favor, consulte con la señora Wilkes si tiene alguna inquietud o pregunta. Now, before we begin, I'd like to invite Mrs. Sherry Falzone to join us, as she has a very important award that she'd like to present tonight. Each marking period, the Bridgeton Exchange Club recognizes a student who embodies the club's core values of family, community, and country. Antes de comenzar, me gustaría invitar a la señora Sherry Falzon a unirse a nosotros, ya que tiene un premio muy importante que le gustaría presentar. Cada periodo escolar, el Club de Intercambio de Bristol reconoce a un estudiante que incorpora los valores fundamentales del club, tanto de familia, comunidad y país. For the first marking period, one of our sixth graders has received this honor. Let's give a big round of applause for Suleyma Lopez Ruiz. Para el primer periodo escolar, una de nuestras estudiantes de sexto grado, Suleyma López Ruiz, ha recibido este honor. Suleyma has made quite an impression on her teachers in the past three months. She is a hardworking student who rises to the challenges before her. She is kind to her classmates and respectful to her teachers. She is a valued member of the Excel family and a valued member of her church family. She attends church three times a week in addition to maintaining good grades in school and practicing her violin. Last but not least, she is a wonderful role model for her younger sister who is in kindergarten. Please join us in congratulating Sulema as she receives the Bridgeton, Bridgeton Exchange Club's Young Citizenship of the Year of the Month Award. Sulema nos ha causado una gran impresión en los últimos tres meses. Ella es una estudiante trabajadora que está a la altura de los desafíos que tiene ante sí. Es amable con sus compañeros de clase y respetuosa con sus maestros. Ella es una persona valiosa en la familia de Excel y una persona valiosa para su iglesia. Ella asiste a la iglesia tres veces a la semana, además de mantener buenas calificaciones en la escuela y practicar su violín. Por último, pero no menos importante, ella es un maravilloso ejemplo a seguir para su hermana menor, la cual se encuentra en Kinder. Únase a nosotros para felicitar a Suleima al recibir el premio de ciudadanía del Club de Intercambio de Bristol. Congratulations, Sulema, and thank you, Ms. Balzon. Okay, so let's uh, get the curtains open here as you listen to our sixth graders and what they've been working on for the past few months. Esperemos que disfruten y los estudiantes han trabajado muy duro durante los últimos meses para esta presentación para ustedes. Vamos a empezar. Good evening and welcome back. Welcome again, everyone, should I say. It's a pleasure being here once again with you. My name's Bill Gauss, I'm the Excel Music Director. This is the sixth grade string ensemble. One question I get every year is why do we do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and all those variations? Twinkle Twinkle Little Star was written by Mozart when he was five years old a long time ago, 1761. 
And it's one of those songs that is great. It just apply. It, it it is great for melodies on any instrument, and it teaches not only melody but it also teaches bow strokes, appropriate bow strokes. So what you're going to see with the sixth grade string ensemble, with each variation, they're attempting to do a different bow stroke that you'll see seventh and eighth graders also doing at the same time. So we hope you enjoy. This is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and variations.
And just to remind you, the vast majority of the students up front before you had never played an instrument prior to September of this year. So how about another round of applause for our sixth graders? They really have done a great job. So our next piece is Ode to Joy, and we'll finish with, what's it called? Yeah, Jolly Old St. Nicholas.
Okay, so while we're switching out sixth graders for seventh graders out there, we're going to have a couple of our raffles. We have some uh, Walmart gift cards here that we are auctioning off. So my assistant Riley will pull a number. Now, do you want to read the, the number? Yeah, in the microphone. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, nice and loud. Ticket six six eight nine six eight three. El boleto del número seis seis ocho nueve seis ocho tres. Does anybody have that ticket? No? Oh, yeah, back there? Okay. Yep, send someone on down to come and get your gift card if you have the ticket that ends in number 683. 683. Mande a alguien o venga a recoger su premio. So you can just say the last three. The last three, seven, eight. T ticket that ends in seven, eight, four. El boleto que termina con el número siete, ocho, cuatro. Ticket that end with eight four eight. El boleto que termina con el número ocho cuatro ocho. All. We'll do a few more after the seventh graders perform. They're getting settled now, and then we'll hear from them. Thank you, and thank you to my fabulous assistant, Riley Mosley.
So this next rendition of Jingle Bells is written in a different time, time signature than most other versions of Jingle Bells. It's in 3-4 time, which is more like a waltz, like a dance, the waltz. So we hope you enjoy this as Jingle Bells in 3-4 time. So the students have really enjoyed learning this one. It's called Merry Christmas Cha Cha Cha, and we hope you enjoy it.
All right, let's hear it for the seventh grade again. All right, so while we're waiting for the eighth grade to take the stage, we have some of our students out here who uh, want to share some winter jokes with you. Mientras esperamos a que los estudiantes del séptimo grado suban al escenario, algunos de nuestros alumnos de sexto grado quisieran compartir algunos chistes invernales con ustedes. What's it called when a snowman has a temper tantrum? I don't know what's it called. A meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the last three numbers on this ticket are? 670. And Espanol? 670. Does anybody have the tickets with the last three numbers? 670, 670. Yes, awesome, come on down. Take that one. And you can put that ticket right in there. All right, thank you, Daisy, you can head backstage. Hi, Chase, you got any good jokes? Yes, yes. Why do the birds fly to warmer climates in the winter? ¿Por qué las aves vuelan a climas más cálidos en el invierno? I don't know, why? It's easier than walking. It's más fácil que caminar. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Chase and Camila. You guys can head backstage. But Camila, you can stay with Evelyn. Jayan, got any good jokes? Yep. What happened to the plastic surgeon as he sat by the fire on a cold winter night? The plastic surgeon sat by the fire? I don't know what happened. He melted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jayan, pick a ticket. Last three numbers. Six, nine, zero. Six, nine, zero. Can you say that in Spanish? No. <laughs> Seis, nueve, cero. Ah, oh, wonderful. You can reach right in that bag there. Wonderful. Thank you, Jayan. You can head backstage. Cecia, Riley, you got any jokes? Yeah. What do you call a big, mean polar bear? ¿Cómo llamas a un gran oso polar malo? I don't know, what do you call a big, mean polar bear? You don't call it anything, you just run. No le llamas de ni una manera, solo corre. <laughs> I'm with you guys there, thank you very much. <laughs> and Evelyn, do you have any jokes for us? Yeah, okay, what's the joke? You are in a cold house in the winter, it's dark. You have one match, did a candle, and did a wood burning stove. Which one do you like first? Okay, so there's only one match. There's a candle, wood burning stove. Which one do we light first? Esta es una casa fría en el invierno. Es oscuro. Tienes un partido y hay una vela y hay una estufa de leña. ¿Cuál enciendes primero? Okay, what do you light first, Evelyn? The match. The what? The match. The match. El partido. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Evelyn. All right, ladies, why don't you pick a ticket? <laughs> nope. Okay, so we're going to read the last three digits. 704. 704. In Espanol? 704. 704. Oh, it's back there. I see a hand back there, I think. No, maybe not. Yeah, you can keep it, sure, if you want to. 704, oh, right over here, awesome. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for playing along with our raffle. Hope you enjoyed the jokes. Coming up next, we have the eighth grade.
So this piece can, that's called Sweet Petite Winter Sweet, it's built on four movements, and each movement kind of gives a little snippet of uh, something going on in the holidays. And uh, we've been talking quite extensively as far as what the meanings behind all of those things are. So the first thing is candy canes. I don't know if you could hear the bombastic parts that were going on with the real staccato strings, kind of like the chef yelling at the people in the back to get to work, something like that. And we've just been having a great time with the second movement called Hot Chocolate, where you're just listening to some soft music at Christmas time, relaxing, put your feet up with a little cup of hot chocolate in the winter time, around Christmas time. This third one's called Peppermint Bark, and it is, a, it is difficult. The kids have worked really hard on this. It has multiple time signatures going on the whole time. It's constantly changing. So we hope you enjoy that movement, this coming movement. And then the last one, it's just a real quick version of uh, like the gingerbread man running away from uh, some other characters that you might recognize. So we hope you enjoy the last two movements of Sweet Petite Winter Sweet.
So this next one, Rocky Very, or Resgi Very, Rocky Mary, maybe I, Resgi Mary, Rocky Very. We always get the title wrong, but it's based on God Resgi Mary, gentlemen, and we couldn't help ourselves. There's a track that we put together. Each week we kind of added new instruments to it, and it's just a blast to play. So we hope you enjoy this finale. God rest you, merry gentlemen, and we wish you a wonderful Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, great holiday season. Enjoy yourselves, just be safe going home. Before I let the eighth grade go, I hope the eighth grade parents won't mind if I keep them a couple minutes backstage here. All those chairs have to be put back in the, the room next door, and I'm just gonna appreciate all of your help if you guys don't mind. And pa parents, if you just be patient, just take five minutes to do it. Many hands make light work. If you know what I mean. So thank you very much. We hope you've enjoyed the concert. Sixth, seventh, and eighth grade wish you a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And I would be remiss if I didn't thank my colleagues, my very good friends at Excel. Thank you so much, all the teachers, Ms. Wilkes, everybody puts such heart and soul into this concert and the rehearsals that go along with it. I very much appreciate it and so do the students. So how about a round of applause for them?
Thank you again. Happy holidays.